everybody. This is a major thing that happened on the SKU 3x3. And usually the videos that you see, like on shorts, they usually show you how to do 180 degree turns, but not 90 degree turns. Now I'm going to change that. I'm going to teach you how to, how to do this professionally. Yeah. Let's get into it. So, basically, first, we know the typical 3 by 3 We can swap centers. I don't have a good camera angle. Basically, we can stop ang uh, centers. So, what you do is you put on the right side, the right hand side. You push the middle down. Oh, sorry. Push the middle down. Take the side and move it to the right. I mean, left. And then you move the middle up. Like that, and then you move this to the right, the middle to the right. You got that done. All you have to do, you have to check. Now, all you have to do is you have to turn 90 degrees. On the, you have to take, you have to do U. And then you do that again. So, if I take this center piece. If I take the center, come on, move, turn, oh, there, there we go, I move, just like this, dig, turn the middle like this, sorry about the camera angle, I'm literally using one hand to hold the, the camera, move this up, the middle up, in the middle to the right. I do that one more time. Sorry, I do that one more time. You go like this. There. But well, you might be asking, well, what if? Well, sometimes when you do it, you accidentally make it 180 degrees, but that one is solved really easily. So you do the exact same thing by swapping the centers. Hold up. Let me just do it. I'm going to use both hands. Just, there you go. Like that. But then you turn it twice. 180 degrees. And then you do it two more times. Like this. Like you do it again. And then voila! The piece is solved. So that's how you fix the center on your skew 3x3 three three or maybe a ghost cube. Usually the centers on those cubes, they get twisted somehow. So you can use this algorithm on multiple pieces to solve this much more efficiently. Alright.